So today let's talk about what is a decimal? Well, a decimal is very simply a number which has been divided into parts. You're probably thinking, hey, that's what a fraction is. You are right. Decimals and fractions are very closely related. One of the differences is that when we talk about decimals, we always divide the whole into powers of 10. We divide it into 10 equal parts or 100 equal parts or 1,000 equal parts. And that's because powers of 10 are so easy to work with. You can add them, subtract them, multiply them, divide them, and they are so easy to work with. So in this example, what decimal is represented? Well, the whole has been divided into 100 equal parts. 50 of those parts are shaded. So we say 50 out of 100 or 50 hundredths. 50 out of 100 would be a fraction and 50 hundredths is the decimal. So we use decimals every day. Our money system is built on decimals. Let's go ahead and explore that a little bit. If we have one dollar, that's our whole. We can divide that one dollar into 100 equal pieces or parts. Each of those equal pieces is one penny. We would say that one penny is one hundredth of a dollar. And there's your decimal. So let's explore a little more about how decimals connect to fractions. So we're going to stick with our dollar. That's our whole for today. If a dollar is divided into 100 equal parts, those are pennies. And those are one hundredth. If we have 50 pennies or 50 cents, we would call that 50 hundredths. We also call that a half dollar. If we have two half dollars, we have one dollar. So 50 hundredths and 50 hundredths equals our whole. We could say 50 pennies is the same as half of a dollar. 50 hundredths or 50 cents is the same as one half. 50 hundredths plus 50 hundredths equals one whole. One half plus one half equals one whole. So fractions and decimals are the same. 50 hundredths is the same value or equivalent to one half. So does it go the other way? What if I'm starting with a fraction? Is there a way to figure out what that equivalent decimal is? Well, yes, there is actually. So let's explore that idea a bit. So here, let's stick with the fraction we know. Here is one half. We can see that that is one part out of two total parts. One part out of two which is the same as saying one divided by two. Using my superior division skills, we can divide one divided by two. So you write it like this. Now, I ask myself, can I go two into one? And I can't, but I know that I can add zeros after the decimal point and it won't change the value. I'll still have one whole. When you're dividing by decimals, remember that decimal point just stays right on top of where it is. So the decimal point in your quotient is right on top. Just put it there. And then you can ask yourself, hmm, 2 into 10. Well, I know 2 goes into 10 five times. So I'm going to multiply 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract. Bring down the 0. Hmm, 2 into 0 is 0. Multiply, subtract, bring, no, nothing to bring down. There you have it. We have proved 
by division that one half is equivalent to 50 hundredths. And you can do that with any decimal.